On this episode of Sledhead 24-7, the 2017 sleds have been released. Plenty on display as we preview what you can expect for next season from Articat, Skidoo, and Polaris. Also, FXR launches their new lineup and we have it all right here, right now on Sledhead 24-7. Hi, my name is Maria Sandberg and you're watching Sledhead 24-7. Welcome to another episode of Sledhead 24-7, where we are everything snowmobile. I'm your guide, Carly Applin, coming to you from Straight Line Performance in Forest Lake, Minnesota. Make sure to check out all that Straight Line Performance has to offer, especially if you're looking to add some horsepower to your sled, ATV, or UTV. Now let's get this show started with a sneak peek of what you can expect from Polaris in 2017. Jeff Fisher here with Sledhead 24-7. Today I'm at Polaris and we're at the sneak peek for the model year 17. All the media gets to come out, touch, feel the new equipment for next season. And I'm gonna go show you what's new with Polaris for model year 17. One snowmobile that Polaris is making, I'm really excited about, is the new XCR. Now this is a race-driven body sled. They basically married the X and the S together. It's got the S ride height with the X suspension. That's something I've been longing to go ride. Yeah, so new for 2017, we've got a Rush XCR available both in 600 and 800 cc engines. This is truly a race ready package. It's got a unique race calibrated vention system at a Pro S ride height. So super stout package, handles the high speed bumps and turns really, really well, corners flat. Race inspired components on this with the rear suspension having you know, some significantly stronger uh, suspension components and a, a functional ram air duct to keep that braking system cool. Some cool trick items as well like the, you know, the IQR handlebar to give you the best in your ride and handling. And just a, an overall really stout, robust, uh, durable you know, uh, package for those really those brutal racing conditions. Players has redefined their assault package. This is an all new crossover based snowmobile that is a 50-50 but I'm told it's more like a hundred hundred. This does the trails well, as well as going off trail and backcountry riding superbly. So new for 2017 is an axis-based uh, switchback assault. It's a you know completely new platform for us with all the goodness that we've brought in over the last few years with uh, the axis platform into some other segments. A brand new IGX 144 rear suspension that really in combination with the chassis design gives you the best in you know, off-trail agility and ability as well as a vastly improved and really good on-trail ride performance. So for uh, about year 17 we bring the biggest brother of the Pro RMK family into the lineup. This is the 800 Pro RMK 174. This sled is not just an extension of the Pro RMK line in name or in function. It is actually a vastly redesigned rear suspension that really gets the most out of this, this 174 track and still maintains the legacy of RMK quick handling, light handling, great deep snow performance, and just huge you know, high fun factor. This will be a big game changer out west in those really ultra deep snow, deep powder um, locations. It's just, this is gonna be the weapon of choice. Awesome flotation, awesome traction, and it still handles and will ride like a Pro RMK uh, 155 or 163. You're not gonna notice a big trade off or a performance decrease with this big long skid. One new product new to Polaris this year is the Timber Sled Bike Kit. This is very exciting. All you dirt bike guys out there that have these sitting at home in your garage, what you need to do is get the Timber Sled Kit bolted on your bike. It's very easy to put on. Go out and enjoy the backcountry. This is the model year 17 Timber Sled ST120 LE or limited edition. We're very excited about this product. For 2017, we've integrated the Fox 02 QS3s. They offer rebound and three position compression adjustment. So you can go from hard to firm to soft and plush just in three simple clicks. Provides a phenomenal ride increase. Our backcountry ski features six 
hemispherically carburized biting edges on the bottom of the ski. The ski steering effort is very lightweight, works great on the trail, and really well in the backcountry. Also from all of year 2017, you see we have a brand new, fresh, aggressive look. We've lightened up the package. We've integrated lots of technology over from the Polaris RMK lineup. And remember that our timber sled systems are also universal between bikes. With a simple fit kit, you can adapt the timber sled to whatever model motorcycle that you have that we fit up to. Or you can switch between bikes if you purchase a different bike next year. So very, very interchangeable and universal between motorcycles. Flares is sure to dominate on all terrains with the Pro RMK and the 174, the Assault and the Axis chassis, a variety of timber sled kits, and the all-new XCR. Still ahead, FXR releases their latest gear for 2017, and we showcase what's on tap for Skidoo and Articat for next season. Don't go anywhere, you won't want to miss this. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, Polaris, terrain domination, Articat, Share our passion. Skidoo Snowmobiles, FXR, World Class Outerwear, and by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Welcome back to Sledhead 24 7. I'm your host, Carly Applin. For 2017, Skidoo has kept fairly busy, and our tech expert, Jeff Fisher, has all the details. We're at Skidoo 2017 sneak peek. I snuck into the room. They got some new equipment here. I gotta see what it is. I can't wait. Ooh. Oh yes, all new design, 850 E-Tech. I think someone's coming. <laughs> Hey, I'm at the model year 2017 for Skidoo Sneak Peek. And just when you think it couldn't get any better, Skidoo blew my socks off. All new platform, all new power plant. The Skidoo lineup is fantastic. Everybody's gonna be very excited to go in the mountains as well as the trail on the new Skidoos. This year is a big year for Skidoo. 2017 is a new platform and a new engine into uh, three of our segments most important segments, which are Summit, Renegade, and MXZ. So both in the flatland and in the mountain, we're coming up with a new platform and a new engine. And really it's redefining agility in deep snow on the mountain and completely new level of precision and handling in the flatland. You know, one thing really cool is the new chassis. This snowmobile is new from the ground up. From the die cast front end, the new tunnel is actually tapered in, narrower. I mean, you can almost touch your knees together when you stand. It reminds me of riding a dirt bike right now. It's so agile, four inches narrower. That means two inches per side on the panels, all the way around, lighter weight, new power plant, new ergos. You sit way forward, side hilling on the summits is gonna be just that much easier. They hit a home run. 165 horsepower on a brand new Summit that is 25 pounds lighter. The power to weight ratio is just insane. It's the same bore as the 800 E-Tech, but more stroke. You will feel 30% more responsiveness. We have electronic rave. Now it's a stepper motor that close and open those rave three times faster. We have the same injectors, the voice coil, that are positioned on top of the engine. But also we have new booster injectors that are now in the, the throttle body that is even closer to the engine to make sure the air goes into the engine much, much faster. And those injectors, guys, when you will push the throttle, you will feel a huge difference. Very, very responsive. A novelty on this new RAV 4th generation is the bevel tunnel. The new bevel tunnel allows you a, a much more ergonomic position when you're standing up, having virtually no pressure point inside of your legs. Here's the brand new Model Year 17 MXZX. It features the 850 E-Tech 
We still have the great R motion suspension that is, you know, renowned on the market. But for 2017, we improved the front suspension with the RAS 3. One of the big benefits, one inch more travel on the front suspension. We have what we call the open toe hold. It allows you to turn your foot sideways to be much more natural. And by doing so, you're able to position your body to be very, very comfortable when cornering. On top of that, you can position the handlebar about four inches forward. We're calling that the forward leaning position. Specifically on this MXZ, we have what we call the ErgoStep side panel. This new ErgoStep is this surface here. Basically, it will change the way you ride on a trail with this model. You just look at this side panel, and the biggest thing I've always had on the old ones is I'd always have to ride up, and my knee would have to go out so far. What they did is they just tapered this so nice, you slide up and you can get so far forward, you can get so far up onto the spindle, get that front end to bite, it's gonna corner like a dream. Just make sure you keep in tune to Sledhead 24-7. I'm gonna be out riding and evaluating these with our full Sledhead 24-7 athletes, and we're gonna show you exactly what they can do. We've heard mixed reviews on the new Skidoo design, but wait until you ride one. With that new 850 E-Tech and chassis, you might just turn yellow. Still ahead, we hit the mountains and showcase what's new from Articat. And FXR has been hard at it with a whole new lineup for 2017. Stay tuned. You're watching Sledhead 24-7, and if it happens on the snow, then you'll find it here first. Let's check out what's new for Articat in 2017. Shane Lewis, Sledhead 24-7, lucky enough to be in Island Park today. Beautiful day, looking at their new 2017s. Today we're going to get the opportunity to take them for a little rip. Some of the new mountain sleds, some of the new trail sleds, some of the crossovers, see some of the refinements, some of the changes, ride some of the new models, and be able to report back for you what you can expect in 2017. <laughs> Stuff. We got a brand new engine with the all new body plastics, as well as we have uh, a new Mountain Cat, which has got a, this new mountain drive system that we call it. It's where we've dropped the drive shaft uh, inch and an eighth from, from what the sleds were before. A really big benefit of that is to um, it allows us to run an eight tooth drive sprocket with a three inch track and, and it changes the approach angle uh, between the track and the ground so you get a flatter approach angle. So benefit of that is that it gets you up on the snow quicker. It's a, it's a lot easier to side hill and handle. You know, we're on the new Mountain Cat this year, limited edition, coming for 2017. I'll tell you what, it's got the new 8-2 drivers on it, 3-inch track, new ergonomics, new grips, little warmer hand heaters for the negative 27 degree morning we just started in. Man, oh man, I have a blast today. thing we did on the Mountain Cat, we narrowed up the running boards by one inch on each side. Really big benefit of that is when you're side hilling, you can get up further, get your body in the position that you need to if you're in a in kind of a off camber situation where you got to make yourself around a tree or an obstacle. And then we've done some things with the RRs, the ZRRRs. It's, um, it's kind of our top of the line trail sled. We went to QS3 our Kashima coated shocks in the ski and the rear track shock. Really worked on a ride package with that sled that, that gives you, you know, a plush ride in, in the regular trail riding and then when you get into the really big bumps you can hit it hard and it just soaks it up really well. Took the 137 into the RR models as well so we, they're available in the 129 inch inch and a quarter ripsaw track and then 137 inch inch and a quarter ripsaw two track. So it really gives the customer a lot of different options with that RR. We've also um, added the 3000 series engine to our ZR lineup. It's a 700cc four stroke twin. That's a, a nice 65 horsepower engine that really complements that type of sled for the trail guys. We 
really trying to strive for is to improve our, our durability and our quality and, and we've seen some great gains in it. Some good website stuff that's going to be up up and running that, you know, check articat.com and we'll learn a lot about all the things that have been done for 2017. Articat has made a lot of refinements and has new options to keep you on the trail or on top of the snow. Make sure to keep it locked right here to Sledhead 24-7 all season long because we'll be heading to Snowshoot to ride and evaluate these models and give you a closer look at what they can do. Still ahead, FXR's our choice in outerwear and we'll give you a preview of what's new for next season. But first, let's check in with Straight Line Performance for our quick tip of the week. Hi, I'm Jason with Straight Line Performance. Today's tech tip is going to be about belts. We're going to talk about what you need to do to make that belt last, perform, uh, and basically all around get the longevity that you want out of it. Belts are an oil-based product, you know, they're petroleum. So it is really critical when you buy a new belt, use a nice soap and water, clean them, dry them, and then put them in your machine. Everyone can see the belt inside here. I'm basically looking at this. One of the biggest myths that we see out there right now is if I've got, let's just say, an eighth inch showing on the top of this clutch here, my belt is tensioned, we're correct. Actually, the fact is, is belt tension has to do with how tight we're dealing with here. The deflection of how high this belt is, is a derivative. As you begin to open and close this secondary, this belt is gonna go up and down. So realistically, some belts can start with basically flat, even up to an eighth of an inch. The biggest myth that we see out there right now that we're talking about is that that belt height is only a derivative of how long and or wide that belt is. So you wanna definitely work on this tension. How much do you get? Usually we get an inch and a half of push down. So otherwise, a lot of guys will actually lock the brake and you should barely be able to slide this belt with that brake lock. That's about the best way we can tell you to look at it. After we put the new belt on, we adjust the belt. Every couple hundred miles on that new belt, you do need to adjust it up to four to five times. Really critical, that'll help the belt life the longevity, um, it'll just keep that performance peak all the time. So the biggest thing we gotta reiterate here, getting that belt tension right, keeping it cool, getting the right belt. You know, this is for the average rider to the hardcore performance. You're getting performance, you're saving money. It's really important. And stay tuned for the next Straight Line Tech Tip. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, stud boy, traction with an attitude, straight line performance, Ziegler Cat, exceptional service backing the best equipment, the U.S. Air Force, aim high, and by Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. You're watching Sledhead 24-7, I'm your guide Carly Applin. This season, FXR celebrates 20 years in the industry, and we've got a peek at what you can expect for 2017. What are we doing, David? Up here, Winnipeg, at the 2017 FXR Dealer Show. This is where the dealers get a chance to get a sneak peek of what next year's lineup looks like. Let's take a look. A lot of bright new colors this year, even in the women's line. These onesies. I gotta say, pretty hot. Carly, what do you think? It's all you. <laughs> all sorts of colors. You can mix, match, anything you want. They got it. This is a very special night. I think we should all be pretty privileged to be here tonight. We're celebrating a few things. Not only are we celebrating 20 years of FX Summer. <laughs> We got all our dealers from all around the world here, showing them what's new and exciting for uh, next year's FXR. One of the cool new pieces, uh, one of our big statement pieces for next year, is a total redo on our men's and women's Ranger mono suits. It's got the best of the best. It's our four-way stretch shell material, some of the stretchiest material in the industry right now. It's got the waterproof zippers all around. You'll notice some cool new technology, new zipper locations, that sort of thing. Our new Renegade X jacket, which is a new mountain crossover style jacket. Uh, aside from a cool new look and a really techy look on this jacket, one of the 
greatest things about this piece is again, four-way stretch in the shell. You can really feel it move as you move on the sled. We've got our new mission series, which you guys are familiar with already. One of the things that FXR customers always love is that we offer pants in a lot of different options, different colors. You know, you can mix and match. You can pick different jackets with different color pants, helping each customer kind of get their own flavor and their own personal touch on their outfit. You know, and you can mix and match all of our different helmet colors. It makes a big difference. We've got some pretty sweet helmets for you guys to ride with for next year. We yeah, fix our blade helmet, either the blade clutch or the blade throttle. If we get into our women's crossover section, look at all the different colors. You can mix and match. You get different solid color options. 2017 World Snow Premiere for FXR, right on top of the roof of the Winnipeg Art Gallery. First uh, outdoor event they've done in winter here. Fantastic that FXR launches this thing. All of our dealers here are major clients from around the globe, about 75 uh, major accounts, just having a great time. And friends, family, people just out here uh, enjoying the party, modeling. Uh, just absolutely a great event. We're so pumped to be here. So see you in FXR. See you soon. Love you guys. The variety of FXR gear is incredible. When I'm at a snowcross event or out riding on my own, I always count on FXR to keep me dry, warm, and looking great. Well, that's all the time we have for you for this episode of Sledhead 24-7. A huge thank you to Straight Line Performance for having us out today. And remember, introduce someone new to the sport that we love. From all of us here at Sledhead 24-7, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the snow. Gotta get that B-roll. Gotta get that. that. <laughs>